Alright, in part two here, we're going to finish up this photo manipulation. And if you remember in the beginning, this is what we're going to go for right here. So we're not too far away. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and close that and let's continue. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and type in the text that we're going to have here on the board. And click the text tool by hitting T on your keyboard or coming up here to the side and hitting this right here. And then let's go ahead and type in homeless and dot 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 and enter and then will work for food. And then let's go ahead and commit the changes and let's bring this layer all the way up to the top here so you can see it. Okay, so there are going to be a few settings that you want to change on your computer, on your text field. The first one will be make sure we have a text that's kind of com comparable to this Myriad Pro here, and it's bold. And then the size, actually I'm going to change it um, to 98 points, and then... Uh, let's go ahead and make sure the paragraph is centered here. And we're done with that. We next want to we we want to add some layer styles to this. So we're going to come down here to the FX panel or effects panel and it is now off screen so you can't see it, but we're going to go ahead and do inner shadow to begin with. And then it'll pop up this dialog box here and then leave it to multiply, we'll leave it to black and we're going to change the opacity to 58 percent and the angle is going to be 300 here so let's just go ahead and 300 and global light, let's go ahead and leave that checked on and make sure the distance is 5 the choke is 0 and the size is 8 and let's go ahead and while we're in this dialog box, let's go ahead and add a bevel and emboss. Let's go ahead and check that one and click over to it. And let's make it a pillow boss, pillow emboss. And let's go with chisel hard. And the depth, let's go ahead with only 1%. And let's make sure it goes down direction and for the size let's do 10 and for soften let's do 0. You'll see what this is doing after I go ahead and close this dialog box here. Okay and then come over here to the pattern overlay and click it and then come in here to the pattern and go ahead and click the strings 128 by 128 and then let's go ahead and do several things to this one let's make the opacity 64 percent and then I know I want to scale it up to 216 and you can play around with this a little bit but that's about where you want to go and this will give it some a little bit of texture to it and then go ahead and make sure this link with layer is checked on and we are all done in here so go ahead and press OK and there we have it right now it doesn't look like much is done but it has. And make sure you rotate it a little bit here to kind of flow with this board here. And then once you do that, go ahead and press enter. And let's move on here to the final thing, which is the border. Oh, actually, it's not the final thing, but it's one of the final things. Next, let's make a new layer here by coming down here and clicking this new layer button. And then you want to grab the lasso tool by pressing L we're coming over here to this third tool on your toolbar and let's draw an irregular shape with the lasso tool on this new layer by just making a organic type shape and make sure we cover the legs and if you don't like a certain area you can add or subtract by coming up here go ahead and press alt and make your irregular shape and there you go. And next thing we want to do is fill it in with a
color, but before we want to do that, we want to go ahead and make sure that we have a feather going. So come up here to select, and we're going to modify, and come down here to feather. And we're going to change this to a, a feather of 20 pixels. And let's go ahead and also, under the select menu, go ahead and select the inverse. And you want to fill this in by pressing Control Delete. And there, it fills it in with white. And that's perfect. So let's go ahead and move on here. Let's deselect by pressing Control D. And before we modify this border, let's go ahead and grab our background image, which is going to be the junkyard. So just go to wherever you have your stock image that you found earlier and grab this junkyard image and plop it into Photoshop. Next we'll do a control A which is select all and a control C which is copy. Come back over here to the tutorial image and go ahead and press control V. And we will go ahead and enlarge this from the center by holding shift and alt and then go ahead and dragging it up like that. Let's go to about there and press enter. Let's go ahead and move it a little bit and let's drop it behind the layer and let's actually drop it all the way down behind the dog. There we go. And then you can resize it and move it as you see fit. Let's go ahead and resize this a little bit and we're going to move it over using the arrow keys and nudging it. Okay. Next thing we can do is we're going to m mess around with this border so that we get little wispy looking things from the clouds. And this is going to take the longest amount of time because it depends really on your system how much memory you have and how fast your processor is. So I'm going to go ahead and come over here and grab the smudge tool. So click on this tool, the blur tool, and then hold down and grab the smudge tool. Let's go ahead back up to layer one and let's go rename that to border. And let's go ahead and start smudging. So you want to grab a bigger brush a soft edge brush and around 90 looks good and you can increase the size of your brush or decrease it by using the bracket keys okay and now just start wisping away on this layer until you're happy with it and let's get some results and what I'm doing here is coming out to the white part and then clicking and dragging over and then that will create some wispies that we have over here and my system is slowly catching up to me here and once it does I will continue so let's go ahead and continue and just make your wispies as such we go and I'm all the way back around now it's starting to catch up to me and then once you have that done that's the first of many you can do I'm going to do a couple more just for more interesting look and so let's do the opposite let's come out here to the image make sure you're on the border layer and go ahead and click and drag into the border and that will make some more interesting shapes here and kind of curve as you do so. Don't just go in a straight line. Go in all different directions. And there we go. And I'm all finished, but I'm waiting for the machine to catch up. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it and restart it once it catches up. Okay, now that we have some deep pockets in here, Let's go ahead and drag sideways on your wispies so that'll 
really add more effect to it. Again, make sure you're on the border layer and just kind of curve as you go around clicking different areas and join me for part three of finishing up this tutorial by just adding a few extra touches on its 